Uh, good evening. This year is a bit of a new look to the VFL program. Um, Dale Tapping and, and Luke Gatter, who have been in the system for four or five years now, uh, moved on. I had a successful period there. Uh, myself, first year as coach. Um, Chris Dixon coming on board as well from Williamstown, who's been super for the program this year. And on top of that, we had a whole new coaching structure uh, and we had seven first year players join the program. So uh, starting off at one and five, I was a little bit concerned. Um, but for us to fight through it, the boys show some real character and to play finals footy for the fifth uh, consecutive year in a row is a, is a credit to everyone involved. So congratulations, boys. I just wanted to um, congratulate personally the boys that made their debut this year in, in Callum Brown, um, Josh Stakos and Carl Kirby. My privilege as coach of VFL, um, I get to see these boys develop week in, week out. Um, it's pretty hard these days to, in your first year of footy um, to play your first game, um, but it's a credit to you boys the way you go about your footy and all, all your boys should be proud of yourself, so congratulations. And the supporters in the room tonight should be pretty excited about the future ahead with this footy club. So well done boys. Just a few thank yous with the support staff. We, we touch on it every year, but um, they're so important to this program. So the usual suspects in Damo, Eddie, um, John, Graham, Rog, who are there every week, um, put in plenty of hours. So I really appreciate your help and support. Without you guys, it would make it really tough to run a successful program, so thank you. Also on game day, um, we have Simon, Sandra, Margie, Bri, uh, Bree and Ellie who were there giving the boys um, lunches and, and looking after the game also. So I really appreciate all your support as well. So thank you, guys. <laughs> also, just in-house, uh, Matty Foster, who is a big help this year also. Uh, Shippo, our physio, uh, works a lot of hours. Um, also, our fitness staff who aren't here tonight, but uh, all support to give these VFL boys the best opportunity on game day to be their best is, is fantastic. So thank you. Um, also, I just want to make mention of the AFL Listed Boys. I know it's, um, it's hard sometimes to come back and play VFL footy, but it's a credit and you show great character to come back and your attitude's been first class all year. It makes my job a hell of a lot easier to coach you boys, um, so thank you very much. Just to our coaches this year, we're a whole new coaching structure. Um, to Brad Gotch, Ryan Power, uh, Jamie, uh, all you guys have been super. It did take some time to gel together, but uh, we should be proud of the fact that we played finals footy and, and really pushed Richmond, who are, who are a pretty good team this year. So thank you, boys. Also to the senior assistant coaches, um, thank you for your support. First year as coach, I learned so much, um, but every time I need to ask a question, you guys are there, and I really appreciate it. Also a special mention to Bucks, who gave me an opportunity to coach. Um, I really appreciate that, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to next year, so thank you. The last, last thank you to my wife. Um, it was a bit busy year for both of us. We welcomed our first child into the world, so um, you've been super. It's the first time we've been out for a while, so if you see us dancing about 10 o'clock tonight up there, just tap us on the shoulder and, and we'll go home. So uh, before I announce the winner, I just want to get, I know we've had a few teams up on stage, but just get all the V4 boys to stand up, if you can, thanks. Just um, before we give the applause, <laughs> I just want to make mention, Jack, our skipper, who's, who's skippered us for four years now, uh, mate, your effort for the program has been first class. Um, you make my job a lot easier the way you go about it, and all the leaders as well involved. Um, so I reckon you boys and everyone in the room should get acknowledged, so I give you boys a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, so finally, uh, for the Joseph Wren Award, this, this guy's been uh, super to coach. He's had a super couple of years in the program. Um, he's got an opportunity over the next few weeks to get drafted, and I, I really believe he can. Um, so the award goes to uh, Marty Hoare. Yeah. Marty, congratulations. Joseph Wren Memorial Trophy for 2017. Now, it's been a bit of a breakout year for you. You made the VFL Team of the Year. You competed in the state combine today. What's the reasoning for, for such a good year? 
Um, I think it's just playing with a bit of confidence. Um, just get a good run at it without any injuries. So, um, yeah, you just coaches back you in and you back your ability. So, yeah. State combine today. How'd you go? Oh, yeah, I think I went all right. Just pretty average. That's just about <laughs> what, what, I'm, what I'm good at. So, yeah. I was pretty happy with it. So. I heard you went really well. Nah. The hope of getting drafted in a couple of weeks' time. What's the process from here? Uh, I'll just keep fit and, um, yeah, fingers crossed something happens, but if not, I'll go again. I hear the skipper has been training with you every day to get you ready to get drafted. He didn't need to do any of the training, but he's stuck by you. No, nah, he's a good fella. Jack, um, yeah, put me under his wind. So, um, yeah, thanks, Rook. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the 2017 Joseph Wren medalist. Thank you.